it's gonna hurt my soul so bad. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to forgive myself. I just don't like knowing that I'm gonna have to be responsible for a newborn. What is up, y'all? Thanks for tuning in. It's me, Sinai Rache. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, why not subscribe? It's a good time over here. Anyways, as I can see by the title, this is not clickbait. This is very much real. And I'm not going to lie. It feels almost weird making this video. It feels almost ghetto to be making this video because I'm just trying to figure out, like, how did I get here? And how did I get here? Like, this is so weird for me. I'm going to answer the clip of me, like, What's today? August 22nd. Your girl went to the doctor. Okay, it's my memory book, okay? Now, I went for my ear for some reason. They had to, to tell me I was pregnant. <laughs> I just, I have to like, I gotta see it for myself. So, I got me a nice little sample. Oh, it's hot. And a bottle. Dollar store test. I gotta see it with my own eyes, because quite frankly, Ooh. Not me. I want y'all to look for me. It said like three drops. One, two, three. Let's do one more for good luck. And dump that. <laughs> wow. 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 Okay, y'all, so let me tell y'all. So I went to the doctor for, if y'all are not new here, I went to the doctor for this thing. This little ugly thing right here, it's a keloid because I had an industrial piercing and I had the industrial piercing for like a year and it just now, like the keloid was just not starting to grow. So I went to the doctor and y'all, my dumb butt, I didn't even know like, I didn't even, I don't know what an OBGYN is. Um, well, I know now, but I didn't know what an OBGYN is. I kind of just thought I thought, uh, I kind of just thought, I kind of just thought that a doctor was a doctor. So she was like, okay, well we don't do stuff for the ear, but you know how they collect your pee when you first go, you know, to get whatever to the doctor's office or whatnot. They always check your pee, check for, you know, run a pregnancy test or whatnot. So she was like, okay, what are you here for? So I'm like, my ear, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I also wanted to schedule a pap smear because they tried to give me one last time. I missed my appointment. I don't know if it was on purpose or on accident, but I missed my appointment because um, I might've been scared. But I was like, you know what? I need to be grown, grow up and get that pap smear done because it's about that time. I'm like, yeah, I want to schedule your pap smear as well and get this bump gone. Cause it's, it's ugly. She was like, okay, well we don't address the bump. You will have to go to your primary care doctor, which I didn't know all about that. I'm just not wondering this. I don't blame you. I feel like it's my parents' fault. They should have told me what it was. Yeah. So she was like, but we did run a pregnancy test. Before she even said something about the pregnancy test, she was like, I know how to ask you when was your last cycle. And I was like, well, I don't know because I'm on birth control. So it kind of be like wonky. I'm like, I think it was like two months ago. I don't recall having one this month. But then again, I'll be putting my patch on, putting my patch off. So it's like my body don't know what they want to do and it came back positive i said positive y'all know that's exactly how i started in that lady face i i was in disbelief i'm like there's no way not me not again <laughs> where's the cameras like am i on candy camera bro, right now how that's not possible i'm on birth control so i'm like positive so in my head i'm thinking like okay like i'm like i'm like maybe it could be right or maybe she used the wrong pee, that wasn't my pee. So I, I told my boyfriend, I was like, oh shit. But the crazy thing is y'all, I was waiting on my period, but like I didn't I didn't keep up with it and because I really couldn't because with the patch, if y'all don't know, oh my head is If y'all paid attention to my videos, I will always wear like a patch. It was like a little square thing. If y'all know the patches, y'all know the patches. But um, yeah, I wear my patch. And with the patch, you can like keep it on if you don't want a period. But like once you take it off, you're gonna have a period. So you can like, change your period days basically so i never knew when my period was gonna be because i would have it on for four weeks at a time i would have it on for two weeks at a time i'm having it on for one week at a time like i wasn't doing it right which is probably why i probably that's why i'm pregnant right now but <laughs> yeah so i'm not going to lie y'all i at first like it, before it like actually hit me well i had to take a test on my own because i was like there's no way three kids never ever was like on my mind it never really was something 
that I was interested in. Like I done, I did it twice. Like that was enough for me. I never wanted to be the one to be like, oh yeah, I want more kids. I don't think I'm the mom type. Like I don't think if somebody was to ask me, do you want more kids or like, do you like kids? I'm gonna say no. I don't even really like kids. I like my own kids, and that's about it. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna mistreat no kids, but like I'm not a kid person i feel like that's okay like you don't have to like kids if you don't want kids you don't have to want kids everybody like i just don't like knowing that i'm gonna have to be responsible for a newborn and it's just but i just you know obviously it's that's just what it is um but yeah i took a test and clearly it came back positive y'all and the crazy thing is before i even went to the doctor i was thinking about taking a test but i was like there's no point in me even buying a test because y'all previously like i will always take tests just to be on the safe side because i um i didn't want to be drinking like if i was pregnant so i would always take tests and i would just keep some around and they will always be negative so i'm just like i'm just gonna wait and wait on my period because i'm like every time i take a test my period come right around the corner so i'm just like i'm tired of wasting so I'm, like, I'm just not gonna waste my money on no test i'ma just let it come around and what's funny is me and my boyfriend had got into it and <laughs> I was like, you better hope I'm not pregnant because there's about to be some co-parenting shit right here. But I was just playing. But little do I know I was actually pregnant. So, love the doctor's appointment. I text my man in the, cause he had to sit in the waiting room. He came to the doctor's with me. He was like, can I come to the doctor's? I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, I text him, I was like, oh my gosh, bae. And he was like, what? And I was like, I got some shit to tell you. When I saw the doctor's office, show him the paper, I let, it, I let him read, I didn't even tell him. And I was just like, he was happy, obviously. I was having mixed emotions because that's not what I wanted. Like, I didn't plan my life with a third kid. If you was to ask me, what did I see myself in like the future? You wouldn't hear me say nothing about no kids. Like, I had my two, I was okay with my two. I think I would have been fine with zero actually, but God ended up giving me two and now he's giving me three. But I've been back and forth on what it is that I want to do uh, for a few reasons because this is not what I wanted. Like, I'm almost feeling like I'm forced to have a kid that I didn't want. What is the word? I took the necessary steps to prevent a kid I had on my patch, obviously. So like, another part of me is like, if God didn't want this, it wouldn't happen like this, but and another part of me is like this is not what you want so don't force yourself to do anything but y'all i've never been like i'm not gonna lie back then like years back i used to judge people that got abortions and like before i even considered abortion like years ago i stopped thinking like that i'm like let them do what the f they want to do why do you care what somebody wants to do if they are not ready for a kid so what but no what pisses me off is when y'all joke about abortion because i just i don't i don't like that I don't like that and I and I hey but yeah I've been literally on the fence y'all I've been back and forth I've been I've actually sent a message to my doctor saying what are the steps that I need to terminate this pregnancy um I've looked online to where I can obviously y'all I mean if you don't know I'm an Indian abortions are illegal here so if I was to order a pill I'm risking my freedom because you can go to jail it's basically like ordering drugs like you're moving dope like so I was gonna order a pill, I was thinking about that, but then I just couldn't, like, I couldn't, I don't even know the word, but I can't even, I couldn't even, I couldn't move myself to actually do it. Like one minute I'm like, yeah, let's do it. But then the next minute I'm like, no, fuck it. I don't want this kid. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I know I don't have it in me to do an abortion. And for the people that's had abortions and they had more than one, how the f do y'all cope? Like, I know if I see my baby, in the toilet, I'm going to bawl my eyes out. Like, I can cry right now. And and then there's people that do it at like, I'm not trying to judge nobody, but you got people that do it at like four months or, and I'm just like, I'm not judging nobody. I'm not judging nobody, but I can't do it. Even though the Lord knows and I know like I don't want a kid, it's gonna hurt my soul so bad. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to forgive myself. So yeah, right now I'm literally just going with the flow. Obviously, the longer that I'm waiting, this baby is going inside of me. Um, I've been really freaking nauseous, y'all. This pregnancy is a lot different than my boys. I've been really nauseous. I smell everything. Like, I can literally smell the dirt under somebody's fingernails. It drives me insane. 
my house stinks to me. I can't stand the smell of my house. Um, I, they gave me an ultrasound and at my ultrasound, I was, what did they say? Six weeks and four days. Now I'm currently nine weeks. Um, so yeah, I'm very much growing. Y'all wanna see my stomach? Let me show y'all my stomach. Let's see. Yeah. So that's what we're dealing with. Um, I haven't told my kids or anybody actually. So I know my Nana's gonna watch this video, so she's gonna find out here on this video. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if y'all ever had like an abortion and y'all wanna share y'all experience, comment down below, because I'm just curious to know how did you go on about it? How did it make you feel after? I have no more storage on this SD card, but I really didn't even want this video to be long anyways. So if y'all made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Um, if y'all wanna see this pregnancy, subscribe to my channel because clearly we're going on with it um like it or not i know god is gonna watch over me he's gonna make everything work out for me but yeah subscribe to see this this journey i'm 22 with three kids ghetto but uh until next time y'all <laughs> peace hold it down for me because you told me you would be my everything if it's nothing maybe put it on